Hi guys, we're back with uh, Gareth Potts. I don't know if a few of you guys watch him on his social media. Some of the routines he does are absolutely incredible. Here we're gonna have a little bit of a challenge on the tables and stay tuned because we're gonna have another best of five. Gareth beat me the last time. Remember, he made me play a double I didn't want to and I missed it. Cost me. So I'm gonna get revenge later on. Probably the toughest shot on the English pool table. Eight ball in the middle of the back cushion. Cue ball in the middle of the table. You've got to cut the eight ball into either pocket, whichever, whichever right, okay. side you prefer playing with. Okay. So obviously you're playing with side. Are you hitting the cushion first before, the, hitting before cushion the ball? You're cushion first. And a lot of people watching think, how is it possible to cut that, you know, at a 90 yeah. degree angle when the eight ball's on the cushion? What it actually does is the side spin just misses the eight ball on the way past, probably by a millimeter. Right. And then the side spin flicks it along the rail. I could be here all afternoon, I think. So, uh, do you want to show me first? Okay, I'll have a go. What, what side? You, your left side. Left yeah, hand side. I, I'm going to. I'm going to try and cut so it back in into the one. into the left pocket. Yeah. Okay. Tell us out of ten how many times you expect to do this. This one's tougher. Right. I would probably maybe maybe, maybe, two, maybe two or three. Yeah. Two or three. Yeah. Right. So close. It's and so it, close. I mean, it's to be so accurate. Yeah, it is. And the the missing it like that means that if it just flicks it on the way back, it yeah. probably will pot it. Oh, <laughs> so probably what that got, what that meant was it was just missed it by too much. Right. But you know the key with this as well is getting the eight ball where it is touching the cushion. Oh, so it, so because so you can it. find the gap then otherwise. Right. Oh, so close. <laughs> okay, go on. You have a go. It's almost as much side as you can did get. You, did you go low in the cube? I went low to try and dig it into the cushion. Yeah. Just to give you a gauge of how much side you need on, when you miss it, yeah. you need that the cue ball is probably going to go close to the middle pocket. Okay. You see yours at the side cushion, it tells you you'd probably need double the amount of spin. Oh, that was bad. He got it moving. Oh, man. You hit it quite hard, didn't you, as you well? You do have to hit it quite hard, yeah. Because if you think about it, it's because it's hitting it on the way back, it's got to generate a lot of power yeah. to get it moving. Just ball first, wasn't it? Yeah. That's the sort of shot I could do my brains in. <laughs> Aye, aye. He's done it. <laughs> He's done it. Right, I'm going to have two more goes. Okay. It does literally need to miss the eight ball by a millimeter. Right. Oh, that, that, that nearly got. That actually, you know, when I said sometimes when it's not quite dead on the cushion, yeah, yeah, yeah. that actually found the gap. I think you can get it this time. I think you've got the feel. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, I give up. Give up. I give up. The next challenge is a bit of a speed one. So, Ultimate pool now, rather than play a deciding frame sometimes, it's a six ball shootout. Right. Break the balls, pot all six as fast as you can. Okay. What's your record? My record in practice, I posted one on social media at 12 seconds. Did you pot one off the break? Uh, I did. The dilemma you have is obviously the harder you hit them, the more the balls yeah, are moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, as long as the object ball that you're going for is stationary, you can play it. It doesn't matter if the other five balls are moving. Start when you strike the cue ball? Start when I strike the cue ball, finishes when the last ball disappears. Right. I mean, I was... Twenty-three seconds. Twenty. Twenty-three and a half seconds. That's like that's, that's almost double what you like. What in in ultimate do. pool terms, in the tournament play, I would say that's about average. Average. About average. Yeah. Okay. Nice yeah, break off. Everything in the middle of the table. Yeah, yeah. And you see the first shot I played. There were still balls moving, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is bizarre. Go. Oh, you made one. That helps. Oh, you made two. That helps. Quick, go. Oh, Stephen, this is like. This is, this is really quick. Oh, what am I doing with the cue ball? Yeah. Stop, 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 stop. It. 23.28. Thank you. Does he win? Yep. 23.64, you oh. are. <laughs> By <laughs> point, point 0.4 of a second. Yeah, I, I know I wanted to pot four balls. Amazing break, yeah. He potted two from the break. I don't think I've seen that before, two from the break. <laughs> that's an, I'll beat you in one challenge, that's all I'm, I'm happy. Well, this routine we've got here where we're going to try and pot all 15 balls in order. Right. Obviously, on a snooker table, this would be almost impossible. Yeah. The rules of this challenge are we pot all 15 balls in yeah. order from yellow all the way across, obviously, to the eight ball last. Uh -huh. Okay. Cue ball can't touch another ball. 
right and they've got to go in order see the key is to try and leave the cue ball almost like this side of the ball each time because right. the cue ball can't touch another okay this object will be, ball. this will be fun yep <laughs> yeah that was just a test yeah. the speed i was going to hit it <laughs> right yeah, like that see Shot. See, and as pool players, that's what we do is we do play most shots with little bits of side and little bits of spin, right. almost just to manipulate. Shot. I feel like my, my, my cue ball is miles away. Oh, this looks perfect. Oh, it's nice, it's nice. Not so, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it. It's a little dab, maybe you can just pinch it. Oh, he's pinched it, what a shot. <laughs> he's a pool player. <laughs> oh, it's got to go. Surely. Yes. Oh. Am I allowed to perfect in the middle? Uh, yeah, or you, or you can literally just, you know, back to where you are now is good. On off the side cushion. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's good. A pinch the, the, And because of the light white, this is just almost plain ball. Oh, no. Got to go over. Oh. Did all the hard work. <laughs> Devastated. But you see the little the little pinches of side, yeah. which as pool players we play all that the time. That was again though, I put a little left, left hand side, I pushed that pushed red over, yeah. Thought I was yeah. going to do it there. Never mind. I've come a little bit straight on it. Awkward, is it? A little bit. I may have to screw on off the, the ball cushion. cushion. I was going to say that. That's not ideal. Does it go in that pocket? Oh, it should go. It doesn't go though. It should go. It should go. All right, well you move it, it then if it, it should they go, should, yeah. They should go. Right, okay. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Overdone it. I'm digging. Shot. Oh, great shot. I was thinking we were going to double that red and nail there, <laughs> but it's like... Lovely. Oh, I mean, that is like... I mean, there was two or three times where I thought you're, you're, you're beat, honestly, yeah, that, that was that, like... That was, that was one of those <laughs> drills where, obviously because the cue ball's all over the place, it looks better than it is because I was taking all the different pockets, but obviously in a match when you're playing or you're playing a frame, that's what happens, you don't always yeah. obviously put the cue ball where you yeah. want, so sometimes, you know, you have to just roll with it and, <laughs> uh, yeah, that I, was, I got that away that with was one. impressive. Okay, show this a bit of a trick shot, this, is it? Okay, a little bit of a trick shot. The jaws of an English pool table is cut very differently, especially right. to a snooker table. So it allows you to basically play the cue ball into the jaws. Yeah, because that's plastic, not leather, right? It's plastic, yeah. So right. what, it, what, what the objective of this shot is we're actually hitting the cue ball. It's going to hit both knuckles. Right. When the cue ball then effectively lands back on the table, it's going to have some top spin. It's going to arc around the red and hopefully pot the eight ball. Okay. So both knuckles. Top spin, right. arc around the red, pot the eight ball. Okay. Are you aiming virtually into the into the heart of the pocket here? Almost. It's bizarre because you are virtually aiming to pot the cue ball, and because of the pace and the spin, it's almost just zipping it around the back of the right. pocket, hitting the other knuckle, okay. and spinning around the red. Oh, oh. pretty good first effort. <laughs> Straight in. <laughs> I, I, think Good I, shot. I think, yeah, I think I went too far in the middle of the pocket there. <laughs> oh, oh, too, too much. much. Wow. Too much. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it. Oh. I mean, that's just uh, that's a joke. How is it squeezed past and not potted it? How is that, how is that even possible? Told you you're gonna get it. Oh my god! I, I, <laughs> I mean, what a joke. Let's put it back there. Then I'll pot it every time. He's put it Yes. Oh! <laughs> 
Got it. Thank oh, you. Awesome. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you deserve that, to be fair, with the other thank three. Thank you. You deserve that. You deserve that one. I'll give you that one. Do you know when we edit awesome. it, that's going to be the, my first shot. It's the first one, yeah. yeah. You should first do. go. You should easy. edit it. Yeah, that was easy. Yeah, first yeah. shot. <laughs> Last challenge. All the balls on the cushion. Yeah. Two on each cushion, obviously, except the three in the middle of the table. Yeah. Any ball, any order. Right. Let's see how many balls we can get to. Okay. The only rules are you can't play any cannons. So, right. i.e., you can't say, take, take a ball pop this cushion. one and take this one off right, the cushion. Okay. You can't play any doubles. Should we do alternate shots? Okay, yeah, so we can sort of maybe talk yeah. each other through. Let's clear this up. Okay, alternate okay. shots. There you go, flicking them in the side now, though. Flicking them in with a trace. Drop. Oh, yeah, he's got it. He's got the hit. Oh, I'm aiming so thin to allow. Where's he going? It's okay, left in the red. Oh. So now we just repeat that end here. Okay. Shot. Bit left hand side, just to get me out with a bit of an angle. Shot. Mm. That's good, that's good. We had just a bit of top spin actually. Top? Yeah, tiny little bit, so, so I've got an oh, angle okay. on this to get Shot. Miss it. There yes. You go. Use the knuckle. You see now the red. Red. Yeah, the red. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Got to avoid the middle. Oh. Oh my God. Why oh, did he aim so low? Me. Why did I aim so low? I was scared of the middle. Yes. Pressure. How was that? <laughs> I've never been on so much pressure. Yeah, but you see, just it's all those little flicks and traces, isn't yeah, it? Really, yeah, yeah. where as a, as a, I suppose as a snooker player, you you used to playing those as big stuns all the time, and it's well, just even little, that last shot, the yeah. like, went so low in the cue ball. Yeah. Right. Best of five. Okay, it hurt me the last time when, when you beat me because you talked me into playing a double, and it I did. thought I was going to actually beat you. So this Who, is who's breaking? So this is revenge. Go on, you go. You okay. go first. Top spinning. So, international rules is okay, you've made a red, you'll be pleased to know you can still go yellows. It's a completely open oh, table. Okay. Shot. But never been a better time to be a pool player, though, is there? What did the tournament on? The money that's on offer? The, the, yeah, the money that's on offer. Not only, you know, with the English pool, the ultimate pool, and the money in China, you know, out with the, the Masters of Joy, the stuff that they do. Shot. The, the prize money. Um, that's why there is such a huge influx of pool I mean, players. There tournaments you can win a million dollars and probably win in one tournament. So the, the, the event this March is $750,000 to the winner. Wow. They reckon next March, 2025, it is going to be a million US dollars to the winner. Really? Which is crazy, really. Because, so is, you know, is there, are you seeing snooker players now coming on board with these, these tournaments? Yeah, I think um, there's, there's a, quite a lot of them that have already sort of signed up to play in the big events, obviously. I understand snooker have got a very busy schedule, so I, I, I presume it's going to get to the point, oh, this is a nice cannon, this is oh. perfect. <laughs> yeah, the snooker players are going to get... Bad news is, before you play it, you've covered the eight ball with a red. Oh. See, I'll help you out. See, oh, right, see, see as I did you last time, I'll help you out this time. Oh, the light white's done oh, this. Oh, the light white has done <laughs> Oh, no. I can't remember if I asked you the last time you were, you were on the channel, but don't, which, which form of pool do you prefer? Uh, well, or what do you think is your best game? I think my best game is the Chinese eight ball. Really? Yeah, okay. I think the skill level is harder, which makes it harder to play. And I just right. think the combination of... I've always played uh, quite a bit of snooker in terms of practiced it. Right. I think that certainly helps at the Chinese pool. Yeah. I think at the English pool, you perhaps don't need to be technically quite as good. Right, okay. What snooker players do you see? I mean, obviously, Mark, Mark Selby has been a... Well, he's been a world champion, but what other, what other players would you think can, can, well, can do I well? Well, I think you, you've got players that are the likes of One Tom nil. Ford, Joe O'Connor. Those right. players all started out as English pool players. Right. Obviously, got Martin Gould, another one. Yeah. I used to play in the Junior England team with Martin Gould. At the, at the pool. So um, I see those players for definite. Maybe yeah. they can do it. I think Mark Williams has already signed up with Joy playing at some of their events. I think I think Mark might do well, Mark Williams. I think he will. Do, I think the reason I think he'll do so well, and I haven't really seen him play it, 
other than I have, I've seen a couple of videos, but the reason I think he'll do so good is he's got such a nice touch, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And, he, and he's and he's clever as well. Yeah. I think he plays a lot of shots in snooker that you wouldn't that I wouldn't think of, sort of tactical little shots. Yeah. So. And and at eight ball you do need to have that yeah. in the locker to be able to play those shots. So yeah, I, I agree. I think I think Ricky Walden signed up to play. Yeah. I think Matt Salt's going to play some of the stuff. I think there's quite a few of them. And obviously when it gets to a million dollars, the winner. There's no yeah. doubt that more of the players. Yeah, absolutely, are, are, absolutely. I think even Ronnie, I think, is, is mentioned he might want to play. I should have won that. I mean, I should have won that frame. I had Ooh, that frame. three of them. Oh, oh, look at this! Look at this. Could have been better though. Yeah. Obviously, got an issue here. Yeah. But I have got a nice angle on this one over the pocket. I think eight ball, you're always trying to attack your problem ball as early as possible. Your problems. Okay. Right. So here, I see a. Okay. Perfect angle off this one. I think a big um, thing in, in China as well, they want to get pool in the Olympics, don't they? They do. So everything's a big push to professionalise it even more, yeah. obviously inject more money, better venues. Yeah. It's all heading towards them trying to right. get it into the Olympics. Oh, he's, he's missed, he's missed. I mean, if pool gets in, like, surely it'd be, would you not think it'd be all billiard sports then? Then snooker would be in as well, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. And that's what they'll probably do is have Q sports maybe in as a, as a and then the different disciplines within yeah. the Q sports. I think it would be really good if one day they did a, some sort of tournament or some sort of like combination world championships, you know, yeah. where they maybe have three or four different Q sports and uh, it gets played as, um, I think they did used to have something years ago where they had like, maybe American pool, um, yeah. English pool and snooker, you know, all as um, almost just to see who is the almost like the best Q sport yeah. player. Yeah. Oh, too, too much. Too much. Oh, no. Option the doubles into the corner or into the middle. I'm so bad at doubles. I'm the worst in the world at doubles. <laughs> Any discipline. Chance again. I had my chance. 2 0. Oh, that's a nice break. Deserved one. Oh no! Have I won? In ultimate rules, on a Monday night, that's a win. I'll give you I'll the take win. It. I'll, I'll give take you the it. Win. I'll take I'll it. Take it. Know, I'll take anything. <laughs> what a shot. Because that used to be in Chinese pool as well, didn't it? But they changed yeah. it. And in, in most sets of rules, what they would now do is that would just come back up. Because you made balls off the break, you hit yeah. them nice. You don't deserve to be punished with a right. re-rack. Right. So that would just come back up on the spot. Right. And uh, you would carry on for making a ball. Okay. Oh, three again. Not the worst. Jeez. It's not straightforward, is it? Yeah, that's you're that's amazing stung. how these two together, them two together, them two together. Yeah, getting. Yeah, a little bit uh, stronger than two. It's gonna. This will be a good dish. He's on nothing. Is he on nothing? I never, nothing. I never know with you guys whether you're on nothing or not. <laughs> you like produce something from somewhere. He was on nothing. That red though. So you know I said before, obviously eight ball, there's normally one problem. Obviously you have that problem here. Yeah. Normally you would try and attack that as soon as possible because you have got to play some sort of cannon. So it may be now. It is now and he's got it. I need to stop coaching you with this. You ever shot your name? <laughs> I actually it? seen that shot. Actually, I did. Oh, well look at this. It's okay. I think it's still shot. Does that pop? Yeah. Or you've got the option of playing red off the yellow and moving it. Oh, I didn't see that shot. Oh. The like he balls have done he's, you he's again. Taught me, he's taught me in another shot that I <laughs> wasn't going to play. <laughs> or wasn't going to play or didn't have the skill to play. Anything but straight. Or didn't have the skill to play. Oh, it's too far. Gonna, oh, I'm going to settle for the double, I think, because I can hold the cue ball on the red. Nah. Penalty kick, this is for you guys, isn't it? Penalty kick. Too good. 
Gareth Thanks very much. Thanks very much for having us. Thanks for having me. Very interesting. Very interesting.